Hey guys, today is a fun day. We're doing the lapsus. We're playing with the whole M. I study V2 again. This time though, we're doing one of my favorite things, the lapsus. We're gonna be doing time lapse, motion lapse, hyperlapse. Plus this has a built-in smart lapse we're gonna check out and see how good it is. Let's get into it. Well, let's get into the world of the lapses. The first one we're gonna look at is a time lapse. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put up how you set all your controls, where they are, and how to bring them up. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring up the screen of my camera so you can see exactly what's going on. Then right after that, I'm gonna show you the time lapse that I did with it. So without further ado, let's get into the little clip explaining how to set up the time lapse. Check it out. You can see we're in the app now and on the right hand side, you've got all your different settings between moment, video, photo, and we want time lapse. So we'll just scroll across to time lapse and you can see at the top, it brings up your little menu there and where it says shutter, that is basically your interval. So I want to set for three seconds and your time, how long do you want the time lapse to run for? I want 15 minutes, I hit start. You can see it count down. That's it, time lapse is now going. Oh, that was just awesome. I love the way the clouds roll and tumble. And it just looks amazing. That's one of the things I love about time lapses. And I lucked out and had a great lake ship come by and a little bit of boat traffic to start with because there's still not a lot of traffic on the river yet. But it worked out quite well. All right, now let's have a look at a motion lapse. And if you're wondering what the difference is between a time lapse and a motion lapse, a motion lapse is a time lapse, but the camera's moving, whether it's panning or, or whatever, but it, there's movement on the camera, so it's just rotating. So without further ado, let's do the same thing we just did there. I'll show you how to set it all up, and I will run the motion lapse right after it. Check it out. Okay, to do a motion lapse now, you can see, again, we have all the controls on the side, come back into time lapse, and you need to set your interval again. I'm gonna go back to the three seconds. I'm gonna set it again for 15 minutes, and you can see the plus mark. So now I put the gimbal where I want it to start. I hit the plus, you can see it added the point. I now rotate the gimbal to where I want it to go, and add my other point. I now hit start, it'll rotate back to the start position and start recording. There you go, motion lapse started. Well, you can see how you get that little panning motion there and it is really neat, I love that. Now, when you're doing the motion lapse, you can set up to five points. So you can put one here, you can put one up here, one down here, one over there. You can have different points and the camera will follow that path up to five points. That is pretty neat. All right, now let's have a look at a smart lapse. Smart lapse, you say? What is that? Well, in the app, they have a setting called moment. Within that, there's a bunch of presets. So let's have a look at how you set this up and how it works. Now, before we get into that though, I wanna let you know that the Smart Lapse is only 1080p. Even if you were shooting 4K, all the other stuff I showed you were 4K clips, this is only 1080. So be aware of that when you're doing it, it's 1080. Now the effect I will tell you on the Smart, you will see that the clouds aren't moving much but you're getting that effect on the water. The reason for that is, is the short duration that I set it for. I only set it for like a minute. If I would have done a longer um, uh, time lapse, so to speak, then it would have given me more of that time lapse look effect. So that's why it looks a little different than the others because of the short duration that I did it with. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into how you set it up and I'll show you the smart lapse right after. All right, now to do the smart motion lapse, we need to come up under moment and you've got all your different settings there. We want the smart motion time lapse. You hit start and it gives you your panning angle. It gives you your duration. I just want to come in for a, a short duration. So we're just going to go one minute 
and you can see the video duration. I'm then just going to change my angle a bit here and I'm going to hit start. This will simply run and you can see how it adjusts for the angle and that starts your motion lapse. So you can see it worked well, but you didn't get that cloud rolling, again, because of the short duration. But it's a quick function built right in, and you can turn the sound on and off for the music. So if you want to do it, you're on holidays, you want to make a quick little one with music attached, boom, there you go, and you're all set. I don't do it because being on YouTube, it's probably a copyright issue. I don't want to get into that, so I just avoid the music altogether. All right, the last one we have to do is a hyperlapse. Now you're wondering about the difference between hyperlapse, motion lapse, time lapse. Time lapse, camera stands still. Motion lapse, the camera's rotating, typically, to do the motion. Hyperlapse, the camera is physically moving. So in this case, we're doing the hyperlapse. Again, I will show you the setup, and then I'll run the hyperlapse right after it. There's two ways of doing the hyperlapse. The first way is we just shift into video, hit video, start walking our path. Then in post, we speed it up and that'll create a hyperlapse effect. Or the way that I am going to do now is I'm going to come into time lapse and you can see it brings up the little pop up again. We come in here to one second interval. I want the one second interval because it'll take a picture every second. It's faster because I'm moving. So when things are moving faster, that's when you want to uh, adjust. Now, I'm not going to put a time limit on here, but as you can see, I can adjust the time limit. What I'm going to do is walk to the end of the destination and simply manually stop. So all I have to do now is hit start. You see the countdown and there you go. Now I start walking. All right, those hyperlapses are cool. I, I like those. Those are, those are pretty good. But there you go. That's your time lapse, motion lapse, smart built-in time lapse, and a hyperlapse. Now I am going to put up right here, boop, there is a quick little guide to your interval settings. Now in here they call it like shutter or whatever, but it's the interval times and it gives you a good ballpark when you need to set one second or a five second interval on it. It gives you a good starting place if you're brand new into the world of doing time lapses and multiple lapses to get you going. So that little guide there, you could just pause the video and check it down and uh, write it all down and throw it in your camera bag and then you will be good to go. All right, that's it for this one. Again, we played with the Hoham iSteady V2 and checked it out a little further in depth. And you know what? I'm really loving this gimbal. It's a lot of fun to play with, and I love the compact size. All right, that's it for this one. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you're aware when I post new videos like this. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help me out. So, until the next time.